Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving Leet Code problem 1047, remove all adjacent duplicates in a string. Let's read the question prompt. You are given a string S consisting of lowercase English letters. A duplicate removal consists of choosing two adjacent and equal letters and removing them. We repeatedly make duplicate removals on S until we no longer can. Return the final string after such duplicate removals have been made it can be proven that the answer is unique. Let's look at some examples. So we have the string A, B, B, A, C, A. So if we were to process this, we would, you know, we have our A, which is fine, because, you know, there's no duplicate in the A. Then we have our B, which is fine. There's no two letters that are next to each other. Then we get the second B, but now we have two letters that are next to each other. So we have to get rid of them. So now our string just becomes A, right? And then we get the next letter, and now it's going to be AA -A next to each other, which we can't have. So we delete that. So now we're left with an empty string. Then we get the C, and there's no duplicates next to each other. And then we get the A. So now we come to the end of our string, and we have CA. So we have removed all duplicate solution, um, duplicate letters, right? And then you know this, these Bs go, but now the As are next to each other, so then we remove these. So let's look at this one. A, Z, X, X, Z, Y. So we have, you know, let's go from left to right again and add our characters one by one. So we're going to have A. So obviously there's just one character. There's no two characters next to each other. Then we get the Z. So these aren't the same letter, so it's fine. Then we have X. So there's no two um, characters next to each other. Then we get the second X. So that means that we have to get rid of these two because now we have two characters next to each other that are the same. So we're not allowed to have that. So our string now becomes AZ. And then we have, you know, the Z comes down. So we have AZZ. But remember that we can't have two characters next to each other. They're the same. So now our string just becomes A. And then we get the final Y down. And we get AY, which is what we're looking for. So this problem is really simple. And the way that we're going to solve this is going to be basically the same way that we did in this example. We're going to use a stack here. And we're going to do what? We're going to go from left to right on the string. And we're going to append to our stack the character that we're at. Um, if and only if that character does not equal to what's ever on the stack already, the top of the stack. And if it is, then we simply pop it. So let's go through this like a more concrete example. So this will be our stack variable here. So we'll say stack equals this. And um, Cool. So, you know, we'll go from left to right. So what's the first character here? I guess it's kind of hard to see, but the string is A, B, B, A, C, A. So the first character is this A. So obviously the stack is empty, so we can just append it. Now we get to the B. So is the current character B, is it equal to whatever is on the top of the stack, which is the A? No, it's not. So we can simply append it. Then we get to the second B and we can see that this B is, you know, equal to the top of the stack. So that means that we pop the stack. So this is no longer there. Then we get to you know this next a, which equals whatever's at the top of the stack, which is this a. So that way we get rid of this, and we continue. So now we're at the c. Obviously the stack is empty now, so there's nothing we could pop even if we wanted to. So we just put the c in. Then we get the a, but it a does not equal to the top of the stack, so we can put it in there, and then we've traversed the entire string. So now all we have to do is just concatenate our stack here, which will kind of just be serving as a string builder, and then we'll just return c a at the end. So that's the you know algorithm breaking broken down. Let's go to the code editor and actually put it into code. It's quite simple to write. I'll see you there. Okay, we're now in the editor. Let's write the code. Remember that we need to use a stack to basically check whether or not our current character equals to the last character that we added to our stack, which is serving as a string builder. So let's define that variable. So we're going to say stack is going to be an empty list. And remember that we need to iterate from our uh, over our string from left to right. So we're going to say for character in s, we're going to say, you know, if there's nothing in the stack, then it doesn't matter. We can just append our current character. We wouldn't be able to pop even if we wanted to because the stack is empty. And if you try to pop from an empty stack, your code's going to blow up. So we're going to say if not stack, then we can simply append the current character to the stack. So we're going to say stack dot append the current character. Otherwise, we now need to verify that our current character care does not equal to whatever is at the top of the stack. If it's not, then we can append it to the stack. If it is, then that means that we're going to have two characters that are next to each other, 
which we're not allowed, right? Because we can't have two adjacent and equal characters next to each other. So we have to pop from the stack. So we're going to say if the current character equals to the top of the stack, we're going to say stack.pop to get rid of that duplicate character. Because if we took the current character and added it to the stack, we would have two that are next to each other that are the same, which we can't do. Otherwise, if it's not the same, then we can simply append the characters to the stack. So we're going to say stack.append stack character. And that's all we need to do. At this point, our stack will contain you know, our final solution, but it's going to be individual um, you know, characters and it's going to be in list form. But obviously the solution asks for a string, so we need to join our you know, stack and we will you know, get our final answer. So we're simply going to return um, you know, dot join stack, which will return our answer in actually string format. So let's submit this and double check that it works. And da, da, da. OK, cool, it does. What is the time and space complexity? Well, the time complexity is going to be big O of n. Why? Well, we need to traverse our string from left to right, and we need to process every single character in our string, which means that we're going to touch every single character once, which means that you know it's going to be big O of n. Space complexity, in the worst case, um, there will be no characters which are actually um, next to each other in our original string, which means that we're not going to make any sort of removals, which means that our stack here is going to contain every single character in S. You know, for example, if we just had the alphabet string like A, B, C, D, E, F, da, 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 and then you know, X, Y, Z, uh, we would just end up storing this because there's no two characters that are next to each other there, which means that our space complexity is bound by, um, you know, S. So in the worst case, it would be that one where there's no duplicates at all, which is just going to be a big O of N solution. So that's how you're going to solve this problem. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if there's any videos you'd like me to make, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you and make those videos for you. And in the meantime, happy coding. Bye.